Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're gonna continue our run and last time we have seen each other we got two new battle mechs. We got two heavies, an archer and a marauder and I wanna build both of them today with you guys. It's gonna be easy on uh, one of them, the other one is a little bit more difficult because we need to rebuild one of the other mechs. So uh, bear with me guys, it's gonna be interesting. We have our archer which is kind of the no-brainer of all of that. The build as it is right now, it actually works if you give it some um, AI pilot in, you know, to, to play with. We have two LRM20 stream, we have four tons of ammo, which is okay, and we have four medium lasers for self-defense, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna only do one thing. I'm gonna put the LRM ammo in the legs, and then there's actually another thing. I'll drop the 20s for uh, two 15s, which we don't have. So we're gonna quickly buy one. Is it a pack into stream? I mean, I don't really care, I gotta say, because, again, it's a mech that I don't really intend to run myself. This is a mech that I intend to give it to, into the hands of a, another pilot. 12 back armor is fine. Head armor is maybe a little low, but that's okay. We have 20 on the back here. Let's bring it down to, like, 16. That's okay. Leg armor is fine. Arm armor is fine. So the only thing that we need to take care of is uh, basically just cooling. And therefore, we're gonna slap some heat sinks on the mech and we are good to go. I just want to be... Um, I want my friends to be able to fire basically all the time, so therefore, just a good chunk of single heat sinks, so we have the LRMs flying all the time, and we also have the medium lasers at short range. That's basically the build. Don't need to do anything else with the mech. It's perfect, it's fine. The other thing is the Marauder, which is a bit more difficult, because that thing definitely needs double heat sinks in order to perform well, because it's running two PPCs, two medium lasers, and an AC5 currently. But I think we can make an interesting build out of that by adding a double heat sinks. And for that reason, I'm gonna refit my Dragon, because the Dragon is a mech that I will put into the hands of an AI pilot as well, and I wanna play the Marauder myself, because it's just really fun to play. So let's get rid of the LBX, because I need it on the Marauder. Let's get rid of that AMS, actually. And let's get rid of the double heat sinks because, again, the other mech needs it more than you. L LBX ammo is gonna be taken out as well. We're gonna keep one SRM2 ammo bin. We're gonna drop those lasers. Actually, we might wanna keep those lasers, but anyway. So the SRM is gonna be dropped to a 4 rated. Unless we have a better one here. Let me quickly check. Yeah, there is no good weapon system. So I will take, I will take a regular SRM4 tier 1 and one ton of ammo, and that's good enough for basically everything. What I also want to do is I want to bring an AC-20 to the table. I'm not going to take the better one that I have, because I don't want to lose... Actually, I should do it. No, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So we have that. And on top of that, I could also give it an auto cannon 10, technically. Again, it's just a mech that is uh, being used by AI pilots now. We're going to repair everything. Mm, I want to take... Where is it? AC-20 ammo, one, two. That's perfect. And then I'm gonna put some flamer. No, we're not putting flamers in there. Although we could. Also, it has a large energy slot. Now, that is interesting. I could make it a mid-range build to help me out. Hmm. But I think an AC-20 is kind of fun. <laughs> Let's bring... Ooh, I should put a tag on another mech so that the archer can always benefit from that. That might be a thing. Oh. Maybe we are doing that. That seems interesting. Do we put a tag over here? On the dragon? It will be in the fight a lot. So yeah, let's bring a tag. Why not? Let's try. I'll put a large laser on here. And one heatsink? Ooh, it's, uh, it's maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I think this guy needs more damage. I'm gonna put a tag on another mech that might run it a bit more reliably. Maybe even on the archer itself. But anyway, uh, I want to put some medium lasers in here. Let's bring the medium laser to your... We have some short bursts. We'll take those. It's fine. And the rest of the mech is just heat management. But with single heat sinks. Because I need to double it on the Marauder. I wonder if I should give him, like, another ton of AC-20 ammo? Should probably buy it. So, three tons of ammo, another heatsink, and you're good to go. So, single heatsink. We have a lot of single heatsinks. Should probably uh, get rid of them at some point. Alright, guys, that's the build. We have an AC-20, an SRM-4, two medium laser short bursts, the mask is still in here. Three tons of ammo for the big gun, one ton of ammo for the rather small missile. But again, it's a support mech that uh, I want to throw in with an AI pilot at this point. It's gonna be okay. Now, again, uh, the important thing uh, that I'm talking about here is... 
the Marauder, because I really want to run that thing. Is the Thunderbolt another mech that runs a tag? It could be. That could be a mech that runs a tag. And then in combination with... Ooh, I want to run that. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Archer, Marauder. And we're gonna go to high tier areas. It sounds like a good plan. So, the problem is that, again, this mech is way too hot. Absolutely. freaking lootly First of all, we're gonna repair everything. We're gonna max out the armor. Bring it down to, like, again, 12. I like front armor a lot. Maybe if I'm running the mech, I can even bring it down to 10. So, my back armor is probably kind of safe. Alrighty. And, oh, definitely the legs. And definitely the arms. I could have also just pressed the max armor button, but... Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so, we'll be a little bit under tonnage, but that's okay. And uh, the cool thing here is... Uh, I have to wait for the dragon... Uh, I mean, we can start the refit already. That's okay. And then we're gonna add the, the double heat sinks later. No problem. Um, yeah, the idea here is that I'm gonna take, ideally, two large lasers, two medium lasers, and an LBX auto cannon. I really hope it works. Alright, so let's do the math real quick. We have those guys. We need uh, two tons of LBX ammo, I think. So that's 60 tons. The LBX is 9 tons, that's 69, no, sorry, it's 10 tons, so it's 70 tons, and we have 5 tons for double heat sinks. It might be a little bit on the edge in terms of cooling. Maybe that one large laser is too much. Well, I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. So LBX, 2 larges, 2 mediums, that's a build that I really enjoy. Let's start the work. I cannot do anything else right now, because I have to wait for the other mech. Okay, fine. How long does the dragon take, by the way? Let's take a look. Uh, timeline. The dragon is 49. I'll wait for all of the events. I, it would be cool if you could skip over here by clicking this event and everything else will be resolved already. Yeah, I will play on this, or still stay on the planet here a little longer. Uh, alright. Marauder done. Dragon done. And I want to stay in the industrial hub to actually refit all of my mechs. We need money, guys, but it's not a big deal because when we take a look at this here, you can see... We have so many things. Uh, I wanted to sell those AC5s, but okay. So we have a million seabills again. And mind, we have so many medium lasers. So many tier 1s. Oh, nah, I'm gonna keep that. Um, and a bunch of jump jets. Alright, and we have so many single heat sinks. Look at that. It's crazy. Can you bulk sell? No. No, not really. I'm gonna press that button just a million times, I guess. Alright. And we have a lot of SRM ammo here as well, and we are already up to 3 million seabills again. So we are fine. Absolutely no problem. What I want uh, is now the Marauder to be up and running in full capacity, of course. So let's put that AC, that, that LB10 in here. Let's give it 2 tons of ammo. Maybe 2.5. We'll see about that. I think half a ton is good. And then, of course, the double heat sinks that we have. Mm, okay, we are a little bit uh, over tonnage. But I think we need all the heat management that we can get out of this here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe three is enough. If I take another half ton, I can be a bit easier on the trigger finger on my LBX. Which means that I have to drop a bit more armor. Okay, let's bring it down to 56. Seven. Seven is okay. We are missing head armor, actually. I don't like that too much. I want, like, 25 there. So I will drop center torso armor. Okay. All right, I guess that's how we run it. That's our Marauder for the time being. I like it. It's pretty cool. Two and a half tons of ammo. We have the two larges. We have two medium laser short bursts. That gives us DPS in close quarter combat. And of course, one major thing that we have to do is we gotta apply that to everything. Select all. Apply. There we go. That's our color scheme. I excluded the dragon because it's a hero mech and I want to keep it that way. I want to keep the cool pattern on this guy. Oh yeah, and then there's the Thunderbolt that I wanted to fit. I should have done it way earlier. <laughs> uh, with a tag. But we don't have the money for it anyway. Mm. Do we? This here is definitely a 20. Let me see if we have a good one. We have that 20 stream. 
Okay. This is just a bigger trebuchet, really. I don't know about that. So what do we put on the arm? It's probably gonna be a large laser short burst. Fine. Then we have three medium lasers. By the way, is tag a small hard point? Yes, it's a small hard point. Yeah, I'm definitely playing that. Alrighty. And then uh, medium laser, medium laser, medium laser. We need ammo. I think it's two tons for that. Armor is maxed out. Cool. Bring another half in because we can. And then the rest is uh, single heat sinks. It's it's definitely singles here. That's a build. That's an okay AI build. Absolutely. We have the large laser for mid range. We have the LRM for long range. Medium laser for additional damage. And the tag, which is going to be interesting. I want to play the Thunderbolt in conjunction with the Archer and the Marauder, ideally. So let's see if that works. Having some missile support while I'm on the front line dying. Okay, that's another 2 million C builds and 56 days. But we have time to actually gather some money back. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Also, high tier. We need to get to higher tier areas. 6 to 9. Actually, let's go down here. Why not? Let's go down... I want the cantina to fill up some, some things as well. This is it. Let's go there. Alrighty. It's going to be a bit more difficult. I hope it works. And uh, I hope I didn't make a mistake going through this area, seeing that I cannot play the missions and then running away again. Let's check it out. I mean, we want to have enough tonnage to actually get enough... Um, uh, to, to play all of the max that we, that we want, right? Alright, what do we have to do here? Collect the Vulcan. Oh, we just sold the Vulcan. Uh, the, repu uh, the, the rewards are not good anyway. Collect and enforce, same thing. Oh! A light rifle tier 5. Yeah, maybe we will find one of those. Treasure hunter. Okay. Can we get it done here on this planet? I don't know. We'll see. I will take the enforcer. Sure, why not? I mean, those are things that we can just play towards. No problem there. Also, check out the mechs here. There's a catapulsy one. Nice. And there's another Thunderbolt 5S. Man, I love that thing. And the Grasshopper 5H, which is bad. It, it's just really bad. But anyway, here we are. Let's play a contract. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's play the War Zone because we are pretty friendly with our... What are those? The Independents? And we are playing against Corita again? Sure. We'll take all of that, as well as an airstrike and maybe some repair cost. Why not? Let's go. And we have the Tonnage. Beautiful. So, as I was saying, I want to play my fresh Marauder, which is here. Am I under tonnage? What am I missing? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I think this is just a repair that is being done right now, right? Uh, can I wait for the timeline? I want to see. Yep, I want to see if the Marauder is done. Yeah, it's done now, perfect. So, I want um, an Archer. Sure, give it to you because you're really good with that. I want the Thunderbolt. And can I have the other Thunderbolt as well? Where is it? I'm blind. Oh, it's here already. Alright, fine. I mean, I can have everything. We are slightly under tonnage. Maybe I should take the Black Knight instead of one of the T-Bolts. Uh, maybe? The Black Knight has da way more damage and firepower. I like the LRMs. I want to see. Alright, guys. 42 days. I'm actually waiting for it. Because uh, I want to see the tag in action. <clears throat> Let's go. I mean, we are playing Warzone. There are waves of enemies coming in. So we can... We can possibly destroy them. Maybe defense would have been better for the test run. Probably. And the cool thing is that we actually have one double heatsink lying around that we can now put in another mag. So I wonder which one is gonna be. For a hefty combat bonus, All right. the longer we can hold the enemies back. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. The smack is pretty toasty. I mean, we are in a kind of a Badlands biome here. Oh, that's not great. But, uh, yeah, it's okay. 
We have a champion on the board. The friendly champion. And a friendly spider. Yeah, friendly neighborhood spider. And the warhammer that they are fighting. Alrighty. I really need to manage my heat on this planet. So yeah, this build might be a little bit toasty after all. Alright, let's go for it. The missiles are flying. Oh yes, look at the death from above. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. I want to help. This is how we win. This is exactly how we win. Perfect. I really hope that we can light up those, the enemies that are coming in like that before they can even reach the front line. Alright, let's get into the base, trigger the event, and then we're gonna get into the fights. Alright. Alright, I'm sending over my friends to that direction. I'm gonna try to take care of the flyers in the sky. That Igor, it needs to go. I mean, do we have enough ammo? We probably have enough ammo. Okay. So far, so good. Um, actually, you guys. Come, 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 come over here, okay? I'm gonna attack and you're gonna help. Yeah, 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 move over here to my position. Because we want to wait. Oh, he has the tag! It actually has an icon. So, missiles will have an easier time targeting that thing now. Alright. There's another guy coming. Hmm, so far so good. Oh god, he's getting lit up. Haha, <laughs> I love it! And more missiles, please! Oh, that was wrong. Heat is a bit of a problem, but only a bit. I mean, this is slow and steady here, right? That's 4 out of 19. So far, so good. Can I bring my people over here on the high ground? That would be absolutely fantastic. Oh. Get that thing down. And they are destroyed. So again, I want you to be on the high ground here. So that you can actually target those guys and just shoot them. Kintaro only has an LRM5, nothing too crazy. It needs to close in in order to get damage in. And before that happens, he's gonna... <laughs> yeah, that's what he's gonna. It's perfect. It's perfect. You know what, I'm gonna stand here on my commander sill and we're gonna just do that. And then we are hot. One more, guys. Help me out. Come on! Got him! So, guys, stay with me. This is how we're gonna win this. <laughs> this works! It actually works! It's beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna just stay here. This is our dune. This is our planet. Hunchback. Okay. No, 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 guys, stay here. We lost her, Mike. What is shooting us? It's an AC5 coming from that scorpion, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ow! Stop it! You're actually quite good with those. Uh. Holding at your waypoint. Okay. Relocated, Commander. Can you attack, please? Thank you. Target oh, yes. Done. You can. Alright, yeah, there's a Centurion coming from the other side of the battlefield. My people are still busy with those tanks, though. And I have the feeling that we need to get that Demolisher or whatever that is out of the game. It is a Demolisher, yeah, AC-20s. Two of them. Come on, team. Use your long range. Mm, that's not good. Alright, I need to actually hold this line against the Centurion. Ow. Kind of feels bad when you are alone. Nobody is firing, really. Ah, that's because I told them to actually wait here and they are not getting their own line of sight anymore. 
Understood. That's okay. We could defend ourselves. There's a hunchback still in the back. Okay, guys. Light him up. I'm such a happy man right now. <laughs> I love when the plan comes together. Also, more enemies are coming. Okay. I actually want you to stay with me. I also want you to engage there. Hmm. Hmm. I like the spot. Yo, guys. Can you attack? You can attack. Alright, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to take out those helicopters. And I hope that my team is able to get those, uh, those hunchbacks down. That single hunchback that we have here. Alright, here we go. And here we can see the drawback of the build. It actually doesn't work if the enemies are too close. Uh, I gotta move. I stay in motion. That's a lot of damage I'm taking. Oh, that's too much. No, not quite. Ooh, Hunchy. Stop it. Okay, so side also is down. Both are down. Oh god, Highlander. Oh no. <laughs> Yo guys, can you please help me out? Shoot your weapons! Come on! Do it! Do it now! After the Highlander, we actually have to go. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, guys. Should probably use my lasers as well. I don't want to... In okay. Okay, it's fine. Um, that's not fine. That's not fine at all. Alright, we got him. So it's Hanji. And then we go home. Definitely. I'll try to go for the Hanji first. He wants my arm down, huh? Ow. That was just enough. All right, Hanshi. Let's get out of here. Leave it for my team to actually get the job done. I might have bitten too much to chew here. My mech is getting destroyed. And again, the heat is gonna be a problem. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> so, status report on the other mechs. We have a Thunderbolt, which is in okay condition. That's fine. Um, let me think. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here, yeah. The other mechs are in, you know, in okayish condition. This is good. The Thunderbolt is quite bad-ish. But yeah, we're just gonna clear our evac zone and then we go. Cyclops! And the Battlemaster! I'm gonna get out of here. I have no interest in any of that. All right. Here we go. I'm running. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. My poor Marauder. Everything is sparking. We made it, though. It was a cool fight, though. I liked it. Oh, Thunderbolt is getting cored. Oh, please don't die now in the last second of this game. That was interesting. So if you want to play that, I believe it's better to have some, uh, like, real human pilots who know how to manage the distance between you and your enemies in order to shoot all of your LRMs all the time. This is just it. But it works! Veteran! Nice! I, I want the Highlander. No? Alright, I'll take the... Do I take a Warhammer? Also, the 4P is a very good support mech. Hmm. Hmm, I'll take that LRM-20. That seems good. This is a very good 20. I think I want that for my uh, for my Thunderbolt. Maybe we are not even picking mechs here. Maybe the Thunderbolt for a bit of value. Yeah, that's all right. Although, this would give us... I mean, this would give us the most. 19 salvage shares. And we get 3.5 million Seabills in value. I can't have both. We have one pick over. I guess it's an AC-10 then. 
Alrighty. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, continue, continue. <laughs> That's where I want to go. Let's see. Hey, we got the next, oh, the next mission. The next heroes of the Inner Sphere hero make missions. Ah, the Will of Kali. Greetings, Commander. I am the Will of Kali, liaison and loyal servant of the Church of Kali. You haven't heard of us? That's by design. Our church and its goals are only to be known to our most loyal members. For now. Unfortunately, however, we have a problem that has to be dealt with quickly and quietly. We made the difficult decision to contact a mercenary, and with your outstanding reputation to deal with the delicate matters, we hope we can trust this to you. One of our disciples seems to have... Hmm, jumped the gun on our plans. She has left the flock and decided to begin sacrificing settlers in the Sandalor system. We cannot provide her name, as we do not know of it. All disciples must leave their past life at the door, and that includes their name. The only identity that matters is that of the true ruler. We will not tolerate this heresy, Commander. Her insubordination to our true ruler must be dealt with, and we are fully confident that you know how to end this. Travel to the settlement and make her feel our wrath. I will definitely accept that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. We gotta do some repairs here. Uh, hazing of the week is the next mission. Alrighty, we can do that. Um, where's our uh, collection thing here? Travel to Lyran something and collect some stuff. This is here. Do we quickly play the Cantina mission and then go south? Because it's all the way south. We might wanna do that. It's a war zone. We can play another war zone. I can actually try... <laughs> I can try the, the dragon with, uh, with an AC-20. That's possible. I think I want to do that before we go and continue our storyline. Alright, let's repair this year. Repair this year. I wonder if I should play the archer. I can probably go back to the Black Knight. I can play the dragon. But I would run out of ammo so quickly. Hmm, difficult, difficult choice. So what do we do with the Marauder to make it better? Dropping ammo? Hmm, maybe. I have an idea. Okay, one thing. Before we do anything else, we're gonna optimize the Marauder because it has to be optimized. Ammo-wise, we were just on the brink. And uh, I want to get another heatsink in the mech. How do I get that? By uh, dropping one weapon system. Bam. That large weapon system is gonna get dropped. We're gonna have now enough room for another double heatsink. But now we are kind of... kind of overcooling the mech, right? Are we, though? I don't know. Maybe we can take another short burst laser. That's gonna be this one here. So we have one large laser for some mid-range damage to attack helicopters. I take him out of the sky. This is for brawling and the LBX is for, you know, raw firepower. I want another ton of ammo though, which we don't have. Yeah, that's not good. Half a ton has to suffice then. Uh, this is maxed out. This is gonna be maxed out. Actually. Actually, this is better. Uh, let's bring it down to 60. I think 60 overall, and then a little bit more head armor. All right, so with that, we have more room to put more heat sinking in the mech. I would gladly take another weapon system or so. Or, here's the other thing, the other option. We're gonna drop that laser to 5 tons and get a weapon that is 7 tons and also takes a large energy hard point, and that could be a PPC. But I really suck at PPC shooting. I mean, it's a matter of practice. I can do it, probably. PPC LBX and three medium lasers. Or we just go all in and be able to shoot all of the short burst lasers all the time. This will never run into heat problems, I think, at all. I'll play it like that. Let's do it. 72 days, sure. <laughs> Alright, everything else, uh, repair it. As I was saying, since we are around the corner, I'm gonna go down here. We will play the Cantina mission. Actually... Yeah, we'll play the Cantina mission. Sure, why not? And then we're gonna go down to the south and play the next Heroes of the Inner Sphere mission, alright? Let's do it. I wanna get some mech upgrades at some point as well. We have those, uh, those additional perks that we are unlocking with the Cantina missions and I'm not really doing it yet. Uh, and that's because I'm, first of all, lacking the money, and secondly, I need to choose the mechs that I'm gonna keep for a long time. Because I believe it's only worth investing if you have a mech that you will play over and over and over again. Like the Archer, it will probably be an auto-include in most of the missions, since it's so much good 
uh, range DPS that we have there. Also, another Cantina. Let me take a look. Collect 8 Auto Cannon 2 Tier 0. How many do we have? We might have some. One? No, wait. That's for sale. We have exactly one. Uh, uh, no, not really. What else do we get? Uh, kill 15 Warriors. That's a thing that we can do. Or Igors. But Igors will just net us single heat sinks and flamers. This is a... Uh, I can take both of them, actually. Those are easy. Those War Dog missions. This is probably where we should go for now. So, I'll drop the... Machine guns. We will never use machine guns tier 5, right? Alright, we're gonna abandon this quest. This light rifle is actually quite interesting. This is where we are right now. We wanna pl probably play that. I also want that, AD <laughs> that AC2 burst fire. Flamers. A an SRM2. Even if it's tier 5. Kill three dervishes. I'm not playing against dervishes right now. Alright, guys, we can pick up the Cantina mission here, the War Dog missions, which are super easy. Since we are playing all of the missions where we always see those mechs. Uh, but anyway, here we are. Let's go ahead and see which contract actually gives us the... It's a raid. And such a big one. I'll definitely take some artillery strikes. Let's bring two. A little bit of salvage, because we might find good weapon systems. And I actually want some repair <laughs> coverage. Alright. <laughs> This is big! Can we even do that? I mean, with this loadout, maybe, if we take our time. Sure, why not? Man, do I take the Black Knight, even? Maybe the Black Knight would be the better option. Sure, let's do that. Let's go. And we don't have to wait, even. Anyway, here we are. We're gonna take our missile squad with some long-range options. The idea is to take this mission rather slow and... Hopefully we can destroy things with airstrikes here. Maybe I should have negotiated for even employer, one more. We'll see. Three bases. Alright, they have the ones they want good positioning. We can probably get something map. done here. This location is deep in hostile territory, so expect heavy resistance. Heavy resistance, that's what I'm expecting right now. There's an Igor. Okay. It's too far away. Guys, attack the Igor, please. We gotta take it down. Down he goes. Uh, what are we getting shot by? Okay. It's fine. Come on. I want the crawl off the battlefield. Ah, let's go all in. Alright. So, I want you to attack everything that you can. Also, there's our cache already. Oh god, this is so far away, right? Kind of, yeah. Are we able to attack? We are. Perfect. And we're gonna be quick and precise. That's what we have to be. Good! That was a good engagement. Lighting it up with Tay. <laughs> She's cool. <laughs> cool. So that's the first part of the mission. There's another flyer coming up. I actually want to get the cash before we do anything else. And there we go. They are... Whoa. They are patrols coming down. Alright, we gotta defend ourselves before we do anything else. Okay, guys. Careful. Careful, back up. Oh god, that's a lot of flyers. But hey, we get we're gonna get our mission done in no time here. Five hundred meters is what we need. There we go, one down, and then the other Igor quickly. All right, and now it's just warriors. It's fine. Okay, got that thing. Got that thing. Got that thing. All right. We're ready to go. That was important, to just defend ourselves there. Yeah, why not? Let's go over here, and then go north, and then go west again, so we can then maybe actually have the high ground there and drop some Adi on that base. Seems good, everybody. Seems very good. Another one. Alright. I like that we have a tag now. I also like that 
the AI is a little bit smarter, as in not saying every time, hey, I tagged somebody, I marked somebody with tag, enemy is marked for destruction, because that's, that's what they said when it, the game was still in vanilla. So crazy. There was so much com clutter with tagging everything that I would not run tag anymore just because it was too noisy. All right, here we go. Good, good, good. We did get it, right? Yeah, we got it. So, next up is next base. Let's go. And, uh... And then we go west and then we are done with the mission. Also, more VTOLs coming. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Another one down. I love those Warlock missions because it's a thing that you just do naturally while you're playing the other missions. Okay, guys, we have the high ground. So, you know it's over, Anakin. Also, my team is kind of busy shooting turrets down while I'm pushing too much on to the front line. That. That's a big one. Okay. I took a sizable amount of damage already. Okay. I really hope it hits something. Something more than buildings. And it does. Oh, that urban mech is getting lit up. And down it goes. Perfect. So it's one mech that we don't have to worry about anymore. That was good. Also, who's shooting me? Is it you, Mr. Centurion? It is. And I have the feeling it's a Jäger mech in the back. Oh no, it's a blackjack. It's a smaller Jäger. Right. You guys go for the jack. I'm gonna push in. Tagged him. Nice. Man, I really hope that tag is worth anything. It should actually give us more missile accuracy. Right. So. There we go. We lost a lot of armor already, but again, I am acting as the tank for the team anyway. It's kind of always the case when my friends are playing all long range, so. Yeah. I guess it's kind of my destiny. Having another one on the front line would be probably better. Maybe bringing the dragon. And then me and the Black Knight or the Marauder, plus two missile max. That might be a thing. Uh, legging, maybe? Oh, he, he's stuck in space. Holy crap. Okay. I definitely want to bring another Arty Strike down. But I don't see anything yet. It's a mech coming. It's a champion. Alright, hey champ. Ooh, we headshot him. Interesting. Let's try more. I mean, that thing is just obliterated. Uh, where do we have to go, though? We'll take Irby out quickly. Alright. And uh, I'm not gonna stay. I'm gonna go home. Because we didn't really negotiate for much anyway. I will defend myself on the way out though, so that's a thing. <laughs> Yo, those guys only have medium lasers now. Wait, that's a thing we actually have to destroy. I might have to help my friends. Don't jump now! Alright, we're fine. Let's go home. Oh yeah, that thing, that's gonna wreck us. Let's go. It's pretty smart for my enemies doing that. Just under running the LRM distance. But it's okay. I mean, my team can take some damage while I'm getting out of here. It's okay. And we also have Rihanna. Shadowhawk. Shadow Let's go. Hey, awesome. What are you doing? What are you up to? Shooting some LRMs, I see. Alright. Let's go. Could have maybe taken Irby down. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that is part of that mission. And we're gonna get some extra Cantina reputation as well as another item. No, wait. I think this mission doesn't give us an item. We'll see about that. But maybe it gives us a bit of money. So, uh, here we are. We get the, the Farah Obia cache. 
Ah, the champion would have been an actual good addition, yeah. I would have liked to take that. It's a big target, though. It will probably lose the arms all the time. Which is not a big deal, because the weapons are not on the arms on the 2N. It's all torso mounted. Mm, those arms could have been shields. Anyway, I was here for salvage. This is a very good SRM. I will take that. And that's how we go. So... Yeah, we get mm, a million sea bills, a bit of reputation, as well as reputation with the bandits. And a bit of career reputation. And now we get quick ammo feed, which is probably a ballistic cooldown reduction, right? Where was it? Down here. 5% ballistic cooldown reduction. That's quite good if you have something like an annihilator later. Annihilator later? You know what I mean, right? So the Dakazilla or the, the Rakzilla, whatever you want to call it. It just has a lot of weapon systems that are of the ballistic kind, and that's pretty good. Also, kill Igor, get Flamer. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It was just an easy thing to get. It also only gives us seven career reputation. And now we can pick up the other missions as well. Uh, Assassin and Centurion. Are these new, or did we just drop them? I don't know. Um, collect an assassin. Collect a centurion. We can probably get the send. We see a lot of them recently. They are very common mechs, so why not? The assassins kind of as well. We'll take them. Alrighty, guys. I would say... Oh, we can turn in our centurion. I'm half tempted to do that. You know what? Okay, before we, before we end this, we're gonna do that. Centurion AL, go out of here. Come back in. I just tripped, stripped him, basically. And now we can say a goodbye to our send. And get some small laser rewards. And now we can also take the auto cannon collection thing. I mean, why not? Let's go to the market, buy this one. And now we have two. And now we need just hmm, six more. <laughs> anyway, guys, that has been it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, a subscribe to the channel. We're gonna continue our Heroes of the Inner Sphere playthrough tomorrow. Where we're gonna hunt down the next hero mech. Goodbye.